All right, breaking new developments tonight in both the Jesse Smollett hate crime hoax and college admission scandals. Fox News correspondent Trace Gallagher, he's live in our West Coast newsroom tonight with the very latest. I guess Lori Laughlin is now claiming, uh, Trace, oh, we were manipulated. We thought we were breaking rules, not laws. Yeah, she said she was scammed in this. And before we get to that, Sean, we have breaking news coming out of Chicago. Two weeks before dropping the charges against Jesse Smollett, the Chicago Tribune reports that state's attorney Kim Fox sent text messages to her top deputy, Joseph Maggots, calling Smollett a washed up celeb, but also said that compared to R&B star R. Kelly, Smollett had been overcharged. Quoting here, pedophile with four victims, 10 counts, washed up celeb who lied to cops, 16, meaning counts. In in the messages, Fox acknowledges having recused herself, but is clearly still involved, quoting, just because we can charge something doesn't mean we should. Maggots responds, quote, agreed. We can get a hard look at how we charge the cases and get it to something that covers what needs to be covered without being excessive and ultimately pointless. And on the day the charges were dropped, Fox texted that she had just spoken with police superintendent Eddie Johnson, quote, laugh out loud. He's at the police recruit event, needed to know how to answer questions from press, told him essentially deferred prosecution, paying 10K restitution to the city and completed community service. He was told we were just dropping the charges. He seemed satisfied with the explanation, except Eddie Johnson was furious with the decision, as was then Mayor Rahm Emanuel. Smollett is now being sued by the city. Meantime, now to Lori Loughlin, a source close to the actress, is telling Entertainment Tonight that those who orchestrated the cheating scandal missed led Lachlan about the severity of her involvement and that she and her husband were under the impression they were breaking rules, not laws. The source goes on to say, quote, they realize how serious the charges are, but feel that once the judge hears their story, he will see they had no bad intentions, though legal experts say it's difficult to imagine any judge thinking a $500,000 bribe is based on good intentions. Sean. All right. Trace Gallagher in our West Coast uh, newsroom tonight.